AITA for cancelling my best friend's bachelorette party after she fired me as a bridesmaid. Gonna try and sum this up the most I can. I am a full-time student so I am currently living off student loans and what little hours I can work. Outside of school, I have spent around $1,000 on my best friend's wedding so far. $350 on the bridesmaid's dress. $350 on the flight home to attend the wedding as I'm away for school. And about $100 on the gift I sent for her bridal shower. The Mo is currently very pregnant and having a rough time. She asked me to plan the bachelorette party. I agreed. I planned it perfectly and had it as a surprise. I messaged the other girls the plan. When they all agreed I went ahead and booked my idea. I spent. This is on top of the $1000 I spent earlier. $400 on a limo to go bar hopping. The bride loves bar hopping. And I booked us a $700 Airbnb to crash in afterwards. As of right now the other bridesmaids did not chip in. This was out of pocket. But they said they would pay me back later. About a month later I and two other girls got kicked from the bridal party group chat along with a paragraph from the bride saying we were no longer invited because we weren't honoring her wishes. When asked, she didn't answer what she meant or what we had done wrong. Two days pass and she adds us back to the chat and apologizes saying she's just stressed. We all talk about it and made up. Yesterday same thing happened except this time I'm the only one removed with a paragraph going off on me, telling me I'm not respecting her or her wishes, that she wishes she never invited me or asked me to be a bridesmaid. When asked what happened or what I did wrong, again radio silence. Today she messages me apologizing saying she's sorry for lashing out and that she'd like me there but not as a bridesmaid as it would make her uncomfortable. And that I'm not allowed to wear the dress I had already bought as it's a bridesmaid's dress. I told her I respectfully declined as I couldn't afford another dress as I've already spent too much on this wedding and that I didn't want to make her uncomfortable on her big day. She then lashes out telling me I should just take more from my student loans to buy a second dress. So with that, I went and cancelled the Airbnb and the limo. I told the other bridesmaids what had happened and they agreed it was fair. One of them must have told the bride about the secret bachelorette party as she messaged me telling me I'm an asshole and I've ruined her entire wedding as she now doesn't have time to book a new bachelorette party in time and she nor any of the other bridesmaids have the money or savings to book anything. I also managed to get the refund for my flight so really I'm only out about $450 for a wedding I'm no longer invited to. AITA for cancelling the party and getting the money back? Something is missing here that kept you hanging in there in the first place. Has anyone ever told you what she meant by respecting her wishes or her being uncomfortable? When you all talked about it, the first time did anything make sense? Nevertheless NTA. Why is she comfortable spending your money on her party? Why are the others still comfortable being in her party? NTA. What I find funny though is that you planned and arranged the bachelorette party. Which is basically only for the bride and her bridesmaids from what I know. I DK much so forgive me if I'm wrong on this. And then when she removed you as a bridesmaid you cancelled it. Which you have every right to. And when she found out she went off at you and is calling you an asshole for not deciding to. Continue to fund her party which might I add you wouldn't even go to or participate in. I'm sorry that this happened. She seems like an entitled snob and it sounds like you dodged a bullet there. NTA. I'm surprised your other friends didn't seem able to fill you in as to what made the bride change her mind about you, seeing as how you seem to have no clue, even though you asked. Very weird. Let us know if you find out the backstory. I think anyone who tells you to take your student loan money and spend it on her wedding is super self-centered and not a friend.
Moreover, she sounds ignorant about how borrowing money and paying bills and stuff like that works. Move on to better friends. Also, learn to live within your means. Right now, you are in school and budgeting. So in these situations, be honest and just say you'd love to chip in the extra for trip, Airbnb, fabulous wedding gift, whatever. But X amount is beyond your budget right now. Nothing to be ashamed about. Real friends will understand and do their best to accommodate you. NTA. So far, you have done the most work and had invested the most in the party. Since they didn't pay you back, it seems like the bride is going back and forth with little respect for everything you've done. If you're no longer in the bridal party, and not even going to the wedding, you should get a refund for what you can. You should not be paying for something you're not even going to be at. NTA she's not your friend and she ruined her own wedding by mistreating people. Actions have consequences and she's learning what those are. You dodged a bullet. Looks like they all would have stuck you with the cost of the bachelorette party. Expecting you to use your loan money to help fund her wedding fun is terrible. I feel like there's some missing, critically important information here, with the story you just told. Which makes no sense. How can you possibly be the awe in this situation? No vote. Because I think material information is being withheld. Info. What wishes did you allegedly not respect? There's a ton of missing info here. NTA and better it happened now than when it was too late to get money back. Sucks to suck. Jeez. A significant percentage of AITH posts involve weddings. Bridezillas. Hijacking for engagement or birth announcements. Infidelity. Hookups. Wedding of my dreams. Monsters in law. Budgets. Makes big weddings seem like a terrible idea. NTA. Tell her to pull the extra money out her wedding fund. NTA. You can probably resell the dress. Especially if it's never been worn. You won't get back all your money. But every little bit helps when you're a poor college student. Been there. It will get better eventually. Send her the dress as a wedding gift. Tell her you hope the dress lasts longer than her marriage. NTA. How old is the bride? Sounds like a toddler with all the temper tantrums. I'd bill her for the $450 she owes you and good luck to the future partner. They are going to need it. I have been texting Mo for the past bit now and getting more information. We'll post when I have all the information as I only have 3000 characters and one update post allowed. Sorry guys. Trying to sum up everything obviously I've left out some facts but I'll try and sum up an update. Post. What I want to know is how you have $1000 plus to spend from your student loans on a wedding and errand. Freaking out on how you spend it loudly crying loudly crying are you an undergrad? Graduate? What work do you do on the side to support any of this? And the fact that none of the bridal party financially supported like? My lower middle class ass can truly not comprehend any of this. NTA. You should have cut and run the first time. That she doesn't want you in her bridal party but expected you to extend a loan to foot the bill. For her bachelorette and a new dress is wild. I'm glad you got the refund on the flight. I hope you wear your dress somewhere fabulous or just at home to do the dishes. Why not? Such an easy NTA. The bride is not your friend. Drop her, and hopefully you can either get use of the dress, return it, or sell it. Nope. NTA. I would have done exactly the same thing. I'd also block here everywhere. She is not a friend. NTA sounds like your friend is not a true friend. She just loves drama and isn't ready to get married. 
I think you dogged a bullet and thankfully don't have to go to the wedding at all. Update us on the drama that is sure to happen at the wedding. Hopefully someone will keep you in the loop. NTAI would have done exactly the same thing. If she was worth the time and money you have spent on her, then she would have reached out to you to say what things you were doing that she felt like was outside of her wishes. And if you were doing such a bad job following her wishes, then she should have already pulled you from planning the bachelorette. Sounds like you lost nothing except $450. By ending this friendship now, is the dress nice enough to find another reason to wear it? Or is it one of those dresses you would never pick out to wear? I hope you can wear it at least once. Or make a Halloween costume out of it. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.